Amy Carmichael was a Christian missionary and author who spent over 50 years serving in India. She was born in Northern Ireland in 1867 and grew up in a devout Christian family. From an early age, she developed a deep faith and felt called to serve God in a significant way. In 1892, at the age of 25, Amy felt a strong call to overseas mission work. She joined the Keswick Convention, a movement focused on holiness and spiritual renewal, and began to prepare for service in Japan. However, due to health issues, she was unable to travel to Japan and instead ended up in South India, where she would spend the rest of her life. In India, Amy became deeply involved in the work of rescuing and caring for children who had been forced into temple prostitution. These children, known as Devadasis, were dedicated to Hindu gods as infants and often abused and exploited by temple priests. Amy founded the Donover Fellowship, which provided a safe haven for these children and taught them about God's love. She lived among them, sharing their hardships and needs. She also took a vow of celibacy and dressed in Indian clothing to identify with the culture and people she served. Amy's work was often met with opposition and persecution from local authorities and those who opposed the Christian message. However, she remained steadfast in her faith and commitment to the children she served. Throughout her life, Amy wrote many books and poems on the subject of Christian mission and living a life of faith. Some of her most famous works include things as they are, Mission Work in Southern India, Gold Cord, and Rose from Briar. Amy died in 1951 at the age of 83, leaving behind a legacy of selflessness and dedication to the service of others. Today, the Donover Fellowship continues to serve the people of South India in Amy's memory. The life of Amy Carmichael reminds us that one person, committed to serving others and living out their faith, can make a profound impact on the world. May we all be inspired to follow our example.